Welcome to this new lesson. In this new lesson, we will develop a web page that we call the REST API that we have just created uh, to get uh, to pass in emotions and a prompt and get uh, back the classified emotion. So let's go to Visual Studio Code. Of course, we need to create a folder here at the top. So I'll call it public. So this is the public folder. Then I need to go to app.js to add another middleware for uh, allowing public access to this public folder. So here I'm adding it. So that is telling uh, Express that this folder is public. It has static content and anybody can access it. I'll go to this uh, folder and I will uh, copy an image to it logo.png so now we have this logo.png then uh, we will need to go and get the do the prompt of course i have prepared the uh, prompt but i will review it with you now so if we go to our folder here is the file and of course it's available for you so here is the prompt Okay, so we are telling uh, the uh, AI uh, bot what he is going or expected to do. Then I told him you need to generate the front end HTML and JavaScript for a web page that will call a JSON web API to analyze a statement with a given list of possible emotions. So that's the summary of our application. Then I start putting some uh, limitations. You need to use the bootstrap CSS library. We don't want it to generate CSS for us. Then we have, you need to create one single HTML file that only contains HTML, vanilla JavaScript and bootstrap classes. I think it's pretty forward. The content of the page shall be included in a div with the container bootstrap class and have round corners. So typical uh, web design. The background color of the page shall be light gray, while for the container it shall be dark gray. So light gray for the back and uh, background and for the uh, container it's dark gray. Okay, the container shall have 80% of the screen width and have a small margin from top and bottom. Okay, then you need to create a header that has a logo and we tell it the name of the image on top of a title, on top of a title, both to be centered on the container. The page then includes a form to collect the following comma separated list of possible emotions, the prompt text to classify. The form shall also have, has, uh, have a submit and clear buttons. Okay, let's uh, continue with this. Below the form, there is a div to display the returned output content from the JSON API. Add another output below the current output that contains a history of all previous outputs, latest added to the top. Again, it should be straightforward. When the submit button is clicked on the, on the form, a vanilla JavaScript code shall read the emotions and the prompt from the form and call the following URL. This is the URL that we are going to uh, use and pass the emotions with a key of emotions and the prompt in a key of a prompt in the body as JSON object. So we are describing to it what it will do. Here I am giving him an example request in JSON. This information is enough. I tried it, but this will just make things easier. Now during the API call, show a spinner and disable all fields and buttons on the form and also clear the output when the api is returned it has a json object with a key of content which shall update the display field below the form so this is the prompt that i prepared for this uh, application i hope that most of it is uh, clear you can 
do it many other ways and it should uh, work if you are specifying the correct information. So let me minimize this. So this is my chat GPT. We will use GPT 3.5. I'll paste the prompt here. Press enter. This is generating the code. Now, in my case, from the first uh, generation, it worked and looked well, but that depends. Sometimes it doesn't and you have to follow up with follow up uh, prompts. I'm not sure if this is going to work first time or not. So I'm trying this with you. Okay. So now back to the browser. Here I have the sys. We have this from last time, so let me just modify this. This was the chat completion. Let's have this emotion. Okay, so that's the form. It looks fine for me. Let me uh, test it with some of our uh, examples. So let me go to playground and i will put these three emotions which are happy positive sorry neutral and negative we don't need to include them here let me try these so the first one which we previously got that it is a positive so i'm getting it go back to the application Okay, submit. It's calling and as you can see, it is uh, running the uh, spinner. I think it forgot to stop the spinner, so I will tell it now. But let's test the other ones. Okay, so I'm getting this. I'll put this. Submit. Again, it is negative, and as you can see, it is adding these, but it's adding the last one at the top, at the bottom. I want the last one to be in the top. But before that, I'll ask him to fix these two issues. Okay. Okay, so it is a neutral, so positive, negative, neutral, which looks good. That's what we were expecting. I also noticed that the title is not given properly. Okay, I'll go back to chat GPT. I'll tell him the uh, spinner never stopped after the first call this is one I tell him add latest to the top of the history and it is history okay and the third one the title is not suitable Okay, let's see what it will uh, do for now. So it is generating the code. Sometimes it generates only the things that have to change. For this, it looks to me that it is changing all of them. Okay, so let me copy this and hopefully it will be better. So if you go to HTML, Okay, let's come here. Let's do a refresh. Okay, the title is better, so this has been fixed. Now here, let's add these and try. Okay, so I have the most amazing day at the park with my family. Submit. Okay, it is positive and this is returned positive and the spinner has uh, been shut down. It is a bad day for me. Submit. 
again, it is negative and it is added to the top of the history. So apparently the three issues that has been found or that have been found, they uh, have been uh, fixed easily. Maybe this display is not nice. It will be better if it is coming here, but you got the idea. So you can do that. Of course, the code and the uh, prompt file are available for you and the resources. Uh, so you can play with it. Thank you and meet you in another lesson.